YouTubers, here's a quick video on a Tesla EMP device called the Trap V. Uh, first, for safety wise, I guess, it says turn the car off, which cars and Teslas aren't, but under safety and something else, power off the vehicle. That's all I did. So, this is the Trap V transit resistant something, blah blah, protection. So, here we go. Tesla, you remove your little forward grate here it just pops off with clips you take the secondary one off which is right here it has a little push on clips pop those off and then I'm going to remove the bolts put it on it's a no-brainer so red is the uh, positive black is negative so we're gonna disconnect the negative first I'm using my 10 millimeter wrench on this, which is probably not 10 millimeters. It's probably the 7 16 or so, but it's so close it's doing it. So, I don't know if I should have done on that lug or this lug, but that's the tightening lug. This is the alternate lug for the wires. So, hopefully this fits over this. I'm gonna see if I can put it here, or should I put it back here? I think I'll put it back there. Now I'm more out of the way. I don't know. Okay. Thank goodness that fits that post. Otherwise, I'd be pausing the video and going back to the shed to drill it. What I can do is do this. So, get the negative back on. Should have been so lazy, I should have went back, got my socket set, and just had the ratchet set up. But it is what it is. Oh. Crank that down tight. I'll get the uh, positive. Oh, that wasn't really tight at all. So if you're familiar with the trap, I believe it says it on there. Transient reducing auxiliary plug. Now I can't remember the doctor that does it. He's got a website for the EMPs. Really good website. Interesting information. It's like buying insurance. If it happens, you're protected. If you buy the insurance, nothing happens. You never know. minute here I'll get this thing going and this is on a Tesla model 3 EMP protection. Some people might be worried if a coronal mass ejection happens and their vehicles go dead. This is too expensive of a vehicle. I don't want it to go dead. The house is protected. The solar panels are protected. I need a vehicle that's protected. My other vehicles got the EMP shield uh, full unit on there. So if I had known about this or he had produced this sooner, I would have had this, but this is more compact. All right, that's it. Boom, and cap back protected. That's it, I'm gonna zip tie that in a few minutes. That's all. All right, to finish up on the trap from Arthur Bradley, disasterpreparedness.com. Arthur Bradley, you look him up on YouTube uh, for Tesla Model 3 or any electric vehicle, I guess. There's the trap, it's installed, the zip tied is crossed there, set it all up. Just have to reinstall the little panels. It's pretty simple. 
I did go back and get a little socket. I think it is actually 10 millimeter. The 3 8 socket didn't actually fit. It's tight. All right, back piece. This was also a modification on the Tesla Model 3. You put a piece of screen on the back, you hot glue it to it, and you won't get any of that debris down in your thing when you do your air filter change. So that's it. Then you snap back in place. All your little snaps. That's it. Model 3 all protected from an EMP. I was just about to use my fist on that thing. It does fine. And then we just do a power up. Make sure it doesn't do up. So powered up the vehicle already. By itself, I guess when I redid that. That's it. It's all up and running.